Hello and welcome to another lovely evening of Link to the Past Randomizer League with Did You Check Your Boot versus Shack Tools Digging Game. I'm Ben Creighton and I'm joined here by Tracy M. Hello. <laughs> Looking forward to this one. Should be a fun one. Shock Tools Digging Game with a commanding lead in this particular division with a 7-1 and win-loss record did you check your boot looking to play some catch up there at four and four yeah and this is mystery week and i feel like mystery week is the week where if you're going to have an upset that's when it's going to happen because all sorts of weird modes uh could be something that the t the better runner is less familiar with than the, the weaker runner so all sorts of interesting things can happen during mystery week uh, and we do get our start and let's see uh looks like an open start Oh, and, and it looks like a Triforce it. hunt. <laughs> it is Triforce hunt. We were just talking hunt. before the match about how Triforce hunt's a little rough. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about rough. We just, you know, yeah. So basically, we're just going to open up a bunch of stuff and see if we can get 30 Triforces and, uh, and then talk to the NPC whose name I forget. <laughs> Hopefully, chat can help me out with that. Um, and we'll. Uh, Turn those Triforces in, and, and uh, whoever does that first is, is the winner. Yes, indeed. We did get a map check, but all for nothing. Looks like maps are shuffled into the item pool here. and That's a second Triforce piece. Muradala, according to chat, is the name of the NPC yeah, thank who you. holds... <laughs> well, what would you say? Holds the Triforce? Holds the ability to reassemble the Triforce? I'm not yeah, sure what some, the deep lore something is. something like that. Uh, we do see a Quake Medallion, which is probably not going to be particularly useful in this mode, but you never know. Um, and it looks like we started with a flute. <laughs> and we started with an active flute. Looks like Tam has not figured that out, but Asi says, hey, look, a flute. And our third Triforce piece already. Yes, indeed. I believe there's, what, 40 of them hidden about the world and the first to 30. I, I do believe that's correct. And we have a small key shuffle as well. Small key shuffles, map shuffled. Although, in this situation, since we don't really care what it has pendants and crystals, I don't think we really care about the map shuffle so much. It just means that there are more items in your dungeons and, and slightly fewer items in your overworld. Absolutely. And there's a bow in Blind's hideout, and yeah, I suppose, I suppose what this does is weights things towards dungeon dips that you might not be able to complete, because... Yep. That dungeon prize just doesn't matter too much, but there's lots of item checks hiding in there. Oh, and a hook shot and a bow. That's a quite the blind set there. Okay, looks like Tam gonna head into the Lost Woods, I guess. Um Asi has enough money for bottle vendor, so we'll probably check that out. Just get a piece of heart. And getting a small correction from the chat, there are between 30, well, in this case, between 40 and 60 Triforce pieces Aha. in the item pool, but always at least 10 more than are required. And there's a sword in Lost Woods. Always nice to have. Yep, absolutely. And we'll see the back of the tavern here on Aussie side. And the drop down in the woods for a boomerang. Hmm. Aussie's not going to go to the woods, so might not get that sword very early. Yeah, might wind up making a difference. On the other hand, <laughs> if you're not fighting bosses, that sword's semi-optional. Uh, Tam in the dam picks up a piece of heart. Yeah, looks like Asi is just going to blind check the race game. I guess the 
name of the game here is just try to go item density. Just try and pick up those those horse those uh, triforce pieces as quickly as you can, get as many as you can. We see a cape in the flooded part of the dam. Yeah, that definitely. Uh... Oh, and that is a triforce piece. Aussie getting paid off for the blind pull. But yeah, that definitely favors locations like uh, like Mini Moldorm Cave, like Paradox Cave. In fact, we're going to see Mini Moldorm Cave right now. Always nice to come in here with a hookshot. <laughs> Flippers. And oh, our big keys right. are shuffled too. Yeah, so looks like we got full key full sanity. sanity with a Triforce hunt. That that's kind of an odd mix, I'd say. I see a little bit ahead on the Triforce pieces, but he does not have that sword yet. Now, depending on where a lot of the other pieces are, might not matter. See a blue cane in Lake Hylia Island? Probably never going to see that. And... As far as progression goes, still pretty a uh, pretty dry seed thus far. We have not seen any of the items required for Dark World access. Nope. I can't imagine that we'd be able to get all the pieces without going into the Dark World, so I expect we'll see that at some point. And we aren't going to get the Zora check. We will get the Zora ledge check here. It's just a rupee, so Asi's going to turn right back around and walk on out of there. So I'm trying to think where our Dark World access could be hiding. We haven't seen a Gina cave yet. We haven't seen... Uh, we do have access to the first item in Castle Tower. I don't think we've seen any of Escape yet, other than the Uncle Secret Passage. Well, with the Hookshot and the Flute, I would think going up to Death Mountain would be a, would be a good play. Go over to Paradox Cave and finish with Spiral Cave. Can't do, like, Tower of Hair or anything like that, but... Um. The Aussie's going to do Ice Rod Cave. And looks like Tam's going to get that piece on the race game. Yeah, the, the thing is, out of all those possibilities, with three items to be found... Our runners may have to wind up doing more than one. And just a nice palace map there in Ice Rod Cave. I'm not sure I would bother uh, saving the old man here. Uh, you have a flute. You can just flute up to there anytime you want. It's really only worth it at this point if you have if there's the Triforce piece on it. It's a bit of a time sink compared to just going over, but they're both going to do it. Yeah, I can see the argument. You get the uh, you get that fourth save and quit spot, or third rather <laughs> save and quit spot. Yeah. Uh, when you're when you're starting out with that flute, that can add up all that time you save walking out of sanctuary or it's just a heart piece. A little diff more difficult for Asi he'll have to use the hook shot since he still hasn't gotten that sword. But Aussie still makes it no problem. One of the easier dark rooms in the game.
It's really the first one you should learn. And it's good to be able to do with more than just the, this, your sword. Uh, Asi just gonna go straight over to East Death Mountain, though. Uh, these are just, you know, you've just got so many checks right on top of each other. And it looks like there was nothing in uh, Spectral Rock Cave because uh, Tam's not going back in. More to the point, there is not a Triforce piece. No, nope. small key of some description on top of Spectral Rock, but might not wind up being necessary the way this goal is shaking out. Small key to Thieves Town, big key to Desert, which we can't get into right now. <laughs> An Ice Rod. I don't think there's ever a situation that you want to see an Ice Rod less here. <laughs> The odds of that coming into play are super, super low. We do get a hammer, though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, we could... Uh, this early in the game, it might wind up being of some use if we wind up getting into, say, an early landmo fight or something like that. Yeah, Ice Rod landmo is not terrible. Floating island with a big key, which we may never get to. Okay, Asi gonna do Spiral Cave. And it looks like Tam's gonna go do Hera. I like the Hera play here. That's I do uh, too. It's more items. Yeah. And just just ten arrows in that spiral cave. Yep, That's... so definitely not worth. And so far Hera gives us a bottle of blue. And Asi gonna go different route altogether, gonna go over to Eastern. That's four items that he can get. Four items? No, it's more than that. It's no, it's four, because there's no small keys in, in Eastern. No, five, because it's three plus two. Okay, never mind. It's five. <laughs> As I try and figure it all out. Oh, my God. Anyway, it's items. And we can do Saha. Uh, Tam, just going to do the one uh, couple checks. Doesn't get a Triforce, so. And Ether, Moon Pearl, and a glove. So that's Dark World access. It is indeed. So this could be a change. Asi may just go straight to uh, to, to uh, Hype Cave. Yep, that's exactly what he's doing. I like this. Yeah, I think this would be the preferred play in lots of modes, but all the more so in Triforce Hunt, where you... You really do just want to get that item density out of the way as quickly as possible. Okay, heading on in, we have a small key to Skull Woods, a compass, a small key to ice. A map. And a Triforce! <laughs> so I, I guess it's good because we got a Triforce. Only got one. Um, but, you know, every one counts. Yeah. And it's hard to imagine skipping that for too, too long. So it's not time lost, even if it wasn't <laughs> the yeah. most productive set of checks. Uh, Tam, Tam heading into Skate. Yeah. Makes a little more sense for him. He's got that sword that Asi has not picked up yet. A big key to Misery Mire. <laughs> and bombs on Stumpy.
And we'll get the dig game over here on, on Aussie's side. And a couple more items on, on Tam's side to come. Ooh, and there's a Triforce for Tam in, in uh, the castle. We're even up at 9, but I think this is the first time we've gotten completely different Triforces. We get a small key to... Pod. Asi gonna save and quit out of that. And a master nice. sword for Tam. Nice to have just for ease of use, but Tam is is really wondering where his dark world access is at this point. Yep. We are gonna get the back of escape check from Asi. Uh, I I don't like this. I I like the front of escape play from Tam. I, I don't like the back the. Uh, Dark Cross check as much. Um, certainly not a hard check to do in the dark, but uh, it's, it's another time sink that I, I just think might be unnecessary. Yeah, it's it's a long way to go, and ooh, two Triforce two pieces, pieces in the back. In the back. That's handy. But yeah, it's a long way to go for one check to get into Dark Cross in in a mode like this one where you really want, do want that check density, but. Putting myself in Tam shoes, what you really want is Dark World access, and that's the yep. sort of thing that may very well be gated behind that one check that you don't want to orphan. So it's maybe not a terrible play from his perspective. We just have that commentator's curse of knowledge. We know yeah. that this is not what he needs to be doing. Well, I mean, he could get a piece out of this, but he's not going to get his Dark World access. Oh, did he's already in the sewers. Did he not get to... I'm confused because he's now in, going heading to the back. And I did not see him open a chest for the for the item in the dark cross area. Yeah, we may have just missed it, but I didn't see it either. Yeah, okay, heading towards Skull Woods and in Key Sandy. A lot of people like to say Skull Woods is is just overworld. And in Key Sandy, I tend to agree with that. I don't agree with that in uh in non-key sandy because you have all the keys and compasses and maps but here could be all items and tam going to get those two items in the back here or two triforces in the back here and there's another one for Aussie in skull woods and misery meyer compass and Tam taking a death warp out of the back of Escape. Looks like he's heading to Castle Tower. I believe he has... Well, with Dark Room, he, has, he one. has access to two checks. Yes. Logically, he has access to just one. Yeah, since he's already here, I like the first check. The second one, again, feels slow to me. Yeah, I tend to agree. But knowing that he was heading all the way to the back of Escape does justify that that dark cross play a little more and it looks like he's pushing on yes he yeah so you gonna check well, at least no he can only check one more it's another one that feels kind of slow to me yeah i tend to agree and we'll see if he mirrors in the area of the uh, Lost Woods items, and if he picks up those, that sword. Does he have the mirror? No, good point, he doesn't have the mirror, so never mind. That was just <laughs> me <Okay>. being dumb. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've had a lot to keep track of. Our we, tracker's been having some technical difficulties, which thankfully seem to be taken care of. And powder on sick kid. Some... Yeah. Yeah. That's another check, and he's right in the area, so let's see what it gives us. OK, 
Okay, looks like Ossie's gonna check the bumper ledge. With that cape, I could see definitely wanted to make sure that there isn't something. Okay, just a heart container, not gonna grab that. And just a piece of heart on the bat. I get some Village of Outcasts check over here on Aussie side. Now, you know, it occurs to me that this particular set of modes is kind of working at cross purposes because technically, in a key, typically rather, in a key sanity, you want to be trying to be as thorough as possible because yep. there are so many more gates to your progress. Yep. But in a Triforce hunt, you want to go for that density. So... Yeah, they don't they don't fit together very well. <laughs> But that's what Mystery Week's all about. We, you know, the, the modes don't always fit together. Another pod small key for Aussie. Looks like Tam finally gets his Dark World access. And a piece of heart in the chess game. We're going to go into Thieves Town. And we have a, just the small key, not the big key, so we're just going to do the front four. Nice refill there. <laughs> and a compass. Okay, and Tam now ties up the Triforce piece hunt number at 12. Gonna save a little bit of time not doing the digging game or Stumpy or Brett. He might do that later. Oh, hey, Asi gets a sword. <laughs> But no Triforce pieces in, in uh, Thieves Town. So pod? And we got a couple, we got three small keys. You can, you can clear a lot of pod with three small keys. Yeah, especially with logical, easy access to that bow lock section for efficient key usage. Looks like Asi is going to instead head to the castle, which we'll get him one Triforce piece. And then we'll get him a Master Sword. Tam, meanwhile, looks like he's heading over to Skull Woods, which will also get him a, a Triforce piece. Which will shortly have us tied again at 13 <laughs> instead of 12. But interestingly, it looks like Tam's going to go to the middle first, which is what I would, you know, what you usually often do in a regular scene. Yeah, that has to do with the way key logic shakes out. Might just yep. be a matter of muscle memory. Yeah, a lot of runners will like to try and steal a key. Okay, I see what he wants. He wants some magic there. Does end up with that single rupee, which really doesn't do anything for us. Asi picks up his 14th Triforce piece. Oh, sorry, his 13th. I think it changed the number as I was saying it, so I jumped the gun a bit. <laughs> yep, lucky 13 there. And Tam picks up his 13th Triforce piece. Let's see if Aussie opts to try and shave some time here by... No, oh, nope, he is setting up a Death Warp. Looks like mm. he's heading to Dark Cross. Still don't like the Dark Cross play. Yeah, all the more so when you when you know you're not planning to 
head to the back because yep. I believe Aussie's already done that. Yeah, he's done the back. And we see double death warps <laughs> in different, <laughs> different locations. Ah, it's not Dark Cross that he wants. Oh. It's that Hyrule Castle Tower. Okay. Or if he does do Dark Cross, he's putting it off until after this. Yeah, he might just check the first chest here. We'll see if he goes on beyond this. Yeah, I think I that, that's good. I was going to say, I don't think Tam actually got to the next chest, uh, but... but uh. I guess it could still be something. We're gonna see what Aussie does after this. This is a lot faster than, than Dark Crosses. Gets 50 rupees. Uh, looks like he is gonna continue on. This is one of the more difficult dark rooms and not one you do as often. Now, Tam, meanwhile, is going to do all the Village of Outcast checks that Aussie's already done that pretty much had nothing. And just, just bombs, bombs there. Bombs. Yeah, this is a sequence of rooms that's so seldom useful that it's not even that they're that hard, but there are so many other things to practice yeah, before exactly. learning this. Oh, Aussie going to go? Nope, he's going. Where are you going, Aussie? I'm just, I'm expecting a flute. Oh no, okay, he's gonna go do Dark Cross. I still don't like this. They, they both did it. I don't like it from either one of them. But basically, they're tracing each other's footsteps, and so at some point, uh, we'll get new checks. <laughs> And as we watch these two runners kind of covering each other's tracks, this is a good time to remind our viewers to go ahead and give them a follow. They're out here putting on a good show for all of us this lovely Tuesday evening. This will put Tam on Tempered Sword. And for whatever that's worth in this, this mode. Yeah, not not typically a whole lot of boss fights to be seen in this particular mode. So <laughs> and when you're definitely not, well, I say definitely, when you are almost certainly not going to have to climb that gauntlet. Yeah. Man, if we get all the way to GT, <laughs> that would be really bad. <laughs> and, what, and actually, I shouldn't even say that because uh, my understanding is that uh, we haven't even checked to... Yeah, so GT, I guess, opens with some number of crystals. We don't care what, what the opening of Ganon, because uh, there won't be any Triforces there. But once they get Mitts, um, they could head over to GT and see if they have if there's any Triforces for them. Depending on what the uh, crystal count is for getting into Ganon's Tower. Yeah, of course, at this point, neither of our runners, coming up on a half an hour in, has been doing any any bosses, any crystals. But we do see on Tam's side, I didn't realize he had the Thieves Town big key, so he's going to continue on in Thieves Town. And yeah, they will, the way the, the mystery weights work, they will require at least three crystals to enter GT, uh, but more likely more. 15% chance of three crystals or four and rising from there up to seven. Hmm. Oh, and a Triforce right away in pod. That gives Aussie the lead for the moment as we're seeing new checks from both runners. A and mirror for mirror. Tam. Get some Swamp Palace access. Uh, nope, he doesn't, because we... Well, he gets some one check in Swamp Palace. I doubt we do that. <laughs> yeah, that's... That's a lot of screen yeah. transitioning, a yeah. lot of shenanigans for just one check. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. 
And we get a lamp in pod. Heart container. Well, if you care about logic, that'll put a lot more of these pod checks into logic, but let's get real. Who cares about logic? Yeah, in, especially in this mode. You just want to do as many checks as you can, as quickly as you can, I think. Okay, looks like Asi's gonna do the stuff over here in the rupee basement, and let's see, he's got two keys, so he could choose to do harmless hallway. Um, probably gonna do harmless hallway and then hammer jump over to the big chest of pod. We don't have the big key, so no, we do have the big key, so. Hey, there's another Triforce piece. It puts him at 15 in our first boss fight. Uh, Tam fighting blind. So Tam with one last chance to get a Triforce piece here, but he did get that mirror, and that mirror could could hide several pieces. Yep, and he did also get those mitts, so that opens up uh, some Dark Death Mountain stuff. Ah, I did not catch that he got mitts. Yeah. That's, a, that's a bigger find. To be honest, neither did I, but our eagle-eyed tracker did. Yeah, shout-outs to MM2 Nest, Char Nest Cartridge, clicking those buttons. And it also opens up Smith Chain, which looks like that might be where Tam's going. Of course, that mirror makes that a much, much more faster. tempting proposition. Yeah. Yeah. And it, where was that uh, Beast Town big key that Asi missed it? I'm trying to think where he hasn't checked that uh, Tam has. I believe it was in Tower of Hera. Ah, okay. A little hard pressed to see him getting back to that one. He's gonna get three, two more checks here, three more checks here, because he's gonna be able to jump over to the, uh, the big chest here. big key to Harris, so maybe that draws him back up there. And there's a, a pod full of Triforce pieces, though. I think that's the third one. And another one. And not gonna fight the boss. Yeah, I believe he did as many checks as he could with the three small keys in his hand, but not quite enough to get to get everything. And if you've got to put off one check, Orphan 1, that boss is the one that's going to take the longest. Oh, yeah, especially in Pod. And it looks like he is going to head over to Hera. Unfortunately, it's the long way. But that did get him that Thieves Town big key, and he will be able to check more stuff, so he might be able to get more out of this. Now, the question is, having already done the first four of Thieves Town, how long does it take him to get back there? Uh, it depends on what else becomes available to him, I suppose. And the thing is, Tam hasn't gotten anything out of that yet. There's going to be stuff behind it, though, at some point, I suspect. Because at some point, you just run out of stuff. Okay, Asi entering Tower of Hera. He'll get that Thieves Town big. And we have, we don't have the small key. Okay, so we're going to be able to check everything but the basement. Doesn't even bother with the bo bother with the bottle, and I don't blame him. He's already got one, so this is a kid check's already been done. Yep, there's that, that big a, key. Yep, and there was a Turtle Rock big key in Cave 45 probably won't come into play, although... You never know, but yeah, definitely, we need a cane before that even, and, uh, 
probably a well no we, in, in key, we need a cane and some small keys before that becomes into play comes into play yeah. Now here we might see Asi fight Moldorm. It's a pretty quick boss and, you know. Hey, there's another Triforce piece for Asi. And a mushroom. <laughs> okay, I'm heading over to Meyer. I'm I'm a little surprised he doesn't do Dark Death Mountain. I just I can do I mean, it's like six checks are just sitting there for you. Yeah, I I can see the argument. These are pretty quick checks. If you find something like, say, Red Cane here, opening up a little bit of T-Rock, it might be worth putting off the mountain for. A shield and a heart piece. And in fact, with the mirror, he can also poke his head in the desert if he feels like it. Yeah, that's true. That, that, that makes us a little more lucrative. And a small key to Misery Mire. So let's see if Ossie goes back to Thieves Town. I'm trying to think what else he has available to him. I'm not sure there's much there. Uh, could do a... Okay, he hasn't done Spectacle Rock Cave, so he'll check that. Which has nothing. But a map. Which is nothing. Ooh, and Tam finds a desert small key. French vanilla in the desert big chest. <laughs> yeah. That opens up... And a Bootslock Triforce piece. Meanwhile, Spike Cave for Aussie. And just a heart container. Small key to Ganon's tower. Okay, where are you flitting to, Asi? Ah, I'm gonna turn that mushroom. That makes sense. So he goes ahead and grabs a blue potion while he's at it. See where he goes next, and we're going to see checkerboard cave from on Tam side, and twenty a, a green twenty. Hmm. Yeah. So, uh, as could we be to regular red twenty? A green twenty means that something was removed from the item pool and replaced. Yep. Uh, I'm trying to think. Let, let's see. We haven't seen a mail upgrade. This could be um, could be hard hard mode. I'm guessing. I can't think we we have swords. It's not swordless. Yeah, it looks like Asi is going to head back to Thieves Town. Yeah, and I don't believe it can be expert. I believe that expert does not have the tempered. I could be wrong about that. No, expert definitely doesn't have the tempered. So I think that has to be hard. Asi heading back to Thieves Town. Not going to get any Triforce's pieces, Triforce pieces directly out of this, but we'll get uh, items that may lead him to more of them. Um, still, Tam not hanging to... Pod had like three Triforce pieces, and, Pod, and Tam staying out of there could hurt him. But I don't blame him for going for these, uh, these missed checks and trying to leverage what he found in Thieves Town. Yeah, and... It might even help him out if uh, he winds up finding another pod small here. That that jump from three to four, depending on how you want to play it, not having to not having to do such circuitous routing yep. in pod. <laughs> in order yeah, to exactly. Maximize checks.
I'm a little surprised he doesn't open TR. I know he's not going to be able to go in it, but you know, if you get the canyon, you'll go right back there and get in there. You don't have to mirror to reopen it later. And a small key to Skull Woods and a Triforce piece in Super Bunny Cave. Asi gets his mirror. And we'll get a nice four checks from the from Hookshot Cave here. It'd be interesting to see if Tam decides it's worth his time to go check the GT sign. Oh, well, he might want to go to Spike Cave at the end of this, or uh, you know, he doesn't have the Meyer. Yeah, no, he doesn't have the Hera Big Key yet, so he won't be doing that. But he might decide to go to Spike Cave after this, so that would be on route to that. So it would make sense. He's gonna grab this big key that's sitting there on the floating island. I think that's a smart move. Might need it, might not. Agree. We don't want to have to come back for it later. And that's the Skullwoods Big Key. Might come into play if we find the Fire Rod, which would open up two more yeah. checks there. I can't, with that see, big chest. I can't see going to Skullwoods just for that one check. But yeah, I could see doing it if you have a Fire Rod. Five crystals under GT. So GT probably doesn't come into play. And as I thought, Tam might go into Spike Cave. Is going to go into Spike Cave. And knows that if you stand behind that torch, you don't take damage. And he's able to take time to, to refill on that potion rather than using the cape. It's a lot of bottles for a Triforce hunt, hunt that we have. <laughs> Looks like we can get some new checks. Looks like uh, Tam gonna head over to Ice Palace. Or has he done... let's see. Doesn't have the money. Oh, I guess he hasn't done the Zora checks, and he can't actually do Zora. Uh, we don't have the money yet. Asi ah, so gets his powder, which is going to lead to nothing if he checks it. Looks like he may do the smith chain as well. And he is. Now he may be able to do this a little bit quicker because uh, he did all those South Dark World checks already. So he may just grab that purple chest and then just flute over uh, to seven to turn that in. Okay, now we're going to get the Ice Palace play from Tam. Okay, so looking on Tam's side, that's where we're going to get our new checks. I believe if I'm counting right, six potential checks for Tam here won't have the small key to, to get to Ice T, and he won't have the big key for Big Chest.
pretty sure you can get over to Ice-T, but yeah, I won't be able to do the big chest for sure. Hmm. Oh, Asi is going to walk this at least to K45. So there is one check that he didn't do earlier on, of course, because he didn't have that mirror. But still can flute from there if he wants to. Yeah, he's already set up for that flute. We're going get to get to see a bomb jump. Uh, which we don't get to see nearly as often anymore with the uh, with the advent of Icebreaker, but no uh, no Kata Samaria means uh, no Icebreaker. And being a little more careful with this second try, he knows he only has one more bomb if he misses it again. And you can see him taking his time a little bit there, waiting for the fire bar. Does not want to take a bad spill here. Yep been reasonable to just skip the bomb jump to be honest because you don't necessarily need to to kill cold stare in this and i see i'm uh, gonna okay just checking desert ledge F figures that's a pretty quick check and i'm gonna go back and do at least these same checks we'll see if he goes into desert see if he goes into mire i can't imagine uh, mire we haven't seen mire um it's a slow dungeon though yeah and i think I think the only thing that Aussie might check in Desert that we didn't already see on Tam's side is if he decides to fight Landmos. The chat pointing out that Mire is a slower dungeon. On the other hand, in Key Sanity, it can have yeah, a lot more. of value. Yes, yes it does. One of those dungeons with a lot of small keys that are not actually necessary. Yeah, you don't need any small keys for Misery Mire. It can make your routing easier, but you don't actually need any of them. Oh, and it looks like Tam got a Swamp Small Key, which opens up a bunch of checks in that dungeon. I'm going to check a Gina. I don't think we've seen this yet. I don't think we have. And yeah, Tam also finding the Swamp Big Key, so... Even Which one opens one, Jax. Check. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but still. It's, it's so backward. <laughs> yeah, Swamp is just the backwards dungeon. Just a compass in a Gina. Looks like Tam's gonna make his way to Ice T. I think we are gonna see a Meyer play from Aussie. And he does have one Meyer small key, which makes routing easier because you can start by going. A lot of times in Key Sand, you'll start by going over to the straight to the left side, and then working your way towards the back. We'll see if he chooses to do that or not. And it looks like that's exactly what he's going to do. Meanwhile, Tam's going to go ahead and kill Cold Stair. Yep, going to have to orphan that big chest. No Ice Palace big key in evidence yet. Yeah, you're never going to go back to it, because even if it's a Triforce, there's, there's, you know, there's 10 you can, we don't know how many there are in the pool total, but there's more, there's yeah. at least 10 extras, so. Yeah, there's an ever-shrinking list of things that might be required progression that could be there. If it's 
I think red cane is probably the thing that locks the most. I'm gonna have to do this with the lamp. Which is a little bit slower for Aussie. And Cold Stare gives us another green 20. So I guess this has to be hard. Yeah, hard mode of some sort. Yep, the hard mode. Okay, where is... Oh, looks like Tam probably going to head to Swamp. That makes a lot of sense, getting that small key. Okay, so unfortunately, the left side of uh, Meyer not giving us anything. Yeah, so I see a question of shields coming up. Um, so I'm going to assume it looks like a rare capped at fire shield. Um, what will happen if you see this? What will happen is there's still three shields available, or in this case, or also four swords available. It's just that when you get to that uh, fourth sword or that third shield, it's going to show up as a, as a green 20. Ah, there's another Triforce for Aussie in the big chest there, Meyer. And another pod small key for Tam to start off Swamp. And another Triforce in Meyer. And one more check for Aussie. And they'll be forced to leave since no no red cane means you can't finish the dungeon anyway. We'll see if he goes into desert, sees the one that we can't get. He's actually going to mirror right... Yeah, I like this that he's mirroring right... Because he's... I don't think he's planning on killing Lanmo. But mirroring right there, you just go into the front of desert. Uh, unfortunately for him, there's nothing in here for him. Now, the only way we'll get that... Unless we find boots at 29, either one of them. I don't think you come back for this one. Yeah, it's definitely hard to justify the time. And Asuki doesn't have the, the desert small key that I think Tam had. Is that right? Yeah, he does have that. Yeah, so... Uh, can't really do a whole lot here. Well, just gonna if check I'm recalling the correctly, Asuki is just about to pick up that desert small in the desert big chest. In the big chest. That is correct. I forgot that's where it was. You are correct. So, yeah, it don't make sense to go check this. It's kind of interesting. It, it feels like Asi is doing a lot of following in Tam's footsteps, but Tam still hasn't hit either Pot or Meyer, and that's where the lead that Asi has um, comes from. I believe Tam has only one Triforce piece that Asi does not, and that's the one that was in Super Bunny Cave. Okay, that's it for uh, Desert, and uh, this could be a mountain check for Asi, or he might head over to Ice Palace. Uh, probably the mountain just feels like, I mean, even though, um, just feels like there's more stuff there. Uh, and we haven't seen any Triforce pieces in Swamp Palace, but still a lot left to check. No, wait, there must have been one, because he's now at 15, he was at 14. I just missed it. And we do see a big key to Eastern Palace. We have not gone in there yet. Yep, and that does open up two more checks, logically even. Well, it'll be <laughs> logical for Aussie. To yeah, the lamp. he's got the lamp. <laughs> <laughs> uh, would be good for Tam though if he headed over that way, because he'd probably be able to probably uh, end up pairing those uh, that pod Eastern trip, and probably end up getting those pod uh, Triforces. 
Yep, and he does have an extra pod small, which would open up another check, but yep. long way to walk for it to Helmosaur. Wouldn't blame if he if he spent that key on the entrance just to make routing easier instead. Yeah, so you're going to get uh, Triforce 21 here. And I'm going to go into Hookshot Cave. We'll see if Asi also ch opts to check on the um, on the uh, uh, Crystal Account to get into GT. Yep, it looks like Tam is indeed heading into the pod and eastern area. Yeah, this will be good for Tam. Asi gonna pick up this big key. And he might not opt to go over back over to check the uh, GT crystal count. Uh, just because it's, it's much more of a time sink for him at this point. Yeah, he's already done Spike, he's already done Hera. Yeah, exactly. And he's going to head into Ice Palace. Which, in a roundabout way, will probably get him a Triforce if he follows that small key into Swamp Palace. Now, it'll be interesting to see if he uh, finishes these dungeons. One, one of the things I'm noticing... Uh, Tam has been finishing all of them, and actually Asi for the most part has too, though he didn't finish Pod. Uh, but I almost wonder if it's just better off to just leave the bosses alone and, and hope they don't have their, your pieces on them. And Tam gets that first Pod Triforce piece. And of course, that small key to Ganon's tower. So yeah, once again, we're back in that mode where the runners are checking mostly what the others already done. Uh, of course, Tam will get might uh, might finish this, and also will get had the opportunity to get the uh, um, I believe the big key chest is the one that Asi skipped. Asti successfully doing the bomb jump, that might indicate that he will go ahead and finish this dungeon. I see a, a call in chat for Tam to go pick up his lamp. <laughs> He's going to lose a little bit of time here doing this in the dark, uh, not realizing that he's going to get a lamp right afterwards. Ah, he's not going to get the lamp because he's just leaving with those Triforce pieces. And he's now only two behind Asi, and I think he got all the ones that we saw in in that area. Thank you. 
Okay, we see, uh, already see a Triforce piece in Eastern. And then just a piece of heart. Uh, to answer the question in chat, no, actually, both runners have checked Saha. That gave them their Dark World Axis. Uh, glove and Moon Pearl. Oh, unless you mean Green Pendant. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure if we've seen a Green Pendant turn out. Turn in oh, right yeah, because <laughs> Steve's Town is Green Pendant. Didn't even catch that. Yeah. Oh, wait, did, did we not see that on Tam's side? I do not recall. Because I thought he was at 13 when he entered ice, and he was at 13 when he left ice. So that's interesting. Okay, chat's saying that they think they, he got that one, so. Okay, two people in chat say, okay. <laughs> so I will trust the chat. I'm going to do two trustworthy people in chat, so. It looks like Aussie is opting to go ahead and skip Ice Tea Room, so that'll save him a little bit of time, because I think that was just 20 bucks. And another Triforce piece in Eastern. Putting Tam at 21, down uh, behind Aussie's 22. So Aussie's next play, probably to Swamp Palace. Tam probably going to get over to uh, Meyer at some point. Okay, and Aussie heading towards, not towards. Oh, is he going to check that Skullwood's big key? Hmm, I don't like that. It seems kind of slow for one item, but... Yeah. When there's not anything else you can route it in with. Yeah, exactly. And we get half magic on the Armos Knights, which is... Nice, and it's a pendant, uh, which doesn't get Tam any closer. <laughs> oh, and it is a Triforce piece over there in the big chest, so I guess that was worth it. I should never question Aussie. <laughs> oh, and he's gonna do these. Ch oh, he is gonna. He's gonna finally get that tempered sword. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen the hour three minute uh, Lost Woods check. Not even in like an SMZ3. I've never seen a, a Lost Woods check this, this late. <laughs> <laughs> yep, but it it does show that you and I were both wrong. That was not only for one check, that was for three, which makes it a lot it's more for justifiable. Three. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it does indeed. And he got a Triforce piece out of it, so uh, definitely worked out well. Um... And Tam back in pod. And Asi gonna head over to Swamp, which will get him one more piece. And get him access to Eastern Palace, where we've seen... I think we saw two pieces in Eastern? I believe so, yeah. And Tam, if he continues on this route, does have the option of fighting Helmosaur. It does make you wonder, is he... He's the one with the information on GT. Is he yes, thinking he that's is. going to be a necessary play? Hey, he finally gets that lamp. <laughs> I 
but at the end, uh, each runner with, uh, uh, sorry, um, Tam with two crystals, Asi with one, and we'll see if Asi does choose to finish Swamp Palace. Of course, on Tam's side, if this turns out to be a pendant, he gets a check at Ped, so... <laughs> yeah, I suppose either way. Speaking of out-of-the-way checks, hard to, hard to justify that one unless you have, uh... Unless you have Fire Rod and can route it in with Skull Woods. Okay, we're going to see at least one new check in just a second when Tam does fight Helmosaur. And I don't recall if Tam did left side. Okay, Tam finishing up Helmosaur. We'll see if this gives us anything useful. I'm fairly sure Tam did do left side. Could be wrong. Ooh, a Triforce piece on Helmosaur. And a crystal. That's double good for Tam. That gives him his third crystal. Gives him that much closer to being able to do the... Uh, get into... Um, GT. Asi finding that, uh, we did- oh, we did- yeah, I guess we both have that. We got the, uh, small key to Hera, which might incentivize them as well to go get up there. Tam giving us a quick map check. Looks like Desert is a crystal. Which means that GT is in logic. And that green pendant is a is a Triforce piece. So now we're both at 23. And it looks like Tam gonna head over to Meyer. Or Desert. I suspect Asi will get most of those Triforce pieces that Tam got over in the eastern area. Might not get that one on Helmosaur. Asi is going to finish up Swamp Palace. We'll see if he goes back in for the left side. There's an Ice Rod is coming in handy for Asi on the Argus fight. <laughs> Okay, Asi not going to go into the left side. Probably going to follow that big key to Eastern Palace. Also turn in that green pendant. The only real question is, will he kill, go back and, and do Helma? Yeah, if he opts to, to skip Helma, that might be a, an advantage for Tam, who finds a book on Landmose, as well as his fourth crystal. Yep, that book gives two more checks in places that you've already been to <laughs> and don't really want to go back. 
Yeah, I will. Ether a little bit more lucrative since you he can do uh, Hera. He hasn't done much yeah, Hera. He can, he can do Hera and then take that crystal straight into GT. He could do that. Yeah. That might be the play. But he's opting to stick his nose into Mire first. Well, that's good for him because there's a bunch of Triforce pieces there too. Okay. Yeah, and once again, we're, uh, we we know essentially what Tam's going to get when he goes into Mire. Um, he'll be able to do all the same checks that Asi did. Yep, and to answer questions in chat, uh, Tam did specifically note that he is recording locally because his internet's been having hiccups. So this. He did uh, say that at the very beginning. Yep. Yeah, this is not a race that will need to be invalidated for internet problems. And there we go. Which we never want to see happen. So Asi back in the lead at 24. He's going to finish up the, uh, do the Armos Knights. Tam will get, I believe there were at least two pieces in Meyer. Uh, they aren't on this on this left side, though. I think one was in the big chest and the other one was shortly thereafter. Sounds right. Asi gets his half magic, which really doesn't do a lot for us, but... Yeah. Yeah, with with two bottles at your disposal, and not a whole lot to spend magic on. It's a nice to have, but certainly not a need to have. Okay, I'm also going to turn in that green pendant. We'll get another Triforce piece there. We'll see if he goes into pod. He's running out of places in general where to go. And unfortunately, he doesn't know the uh, the Ganon Sour Crystal count. Is heading back over to the desert area, so perhaps going to go finish up desert and get that Lanmo. Um, kill, go ahead and kill Lanmo. The, the bad thing for Asi here is he's he's not going to be able to get into GT. Uh, Tam will be able to get into GT once he does Hera. If that's where he heads next. And that is where he's heading next. I've not at all been paying attention to small key locations, but uh, Aussie does not have that fourth pod small to beat Helmosaur and get that fifth crystal, even if he wanted to. Mm, that's a good point. Helma, I believe, not even in logic until you get no. all six. That is <laughs> correct. That is correct.
Yeah, let's get that book. I'm trying to think where we even have beyond getting into GT with that fifth crystal. Because we don't have a cane to get anywhere in Turtle Rock. We've done all of Misery Mire. Uh, we've done everything we can do in Skull Woods. We don't have a fire rod. Yeah, I think we're getting down to some weird, lonely orphan locations. Yeah. Like graveyard ledges, King Zora. I don't think we've seen catfish. Yeah, seen yeah, that's basement right. of Hera. And that's where Aussie's headed. Nah, is it? And where is Aussie headed? Maybe he's... Oh, he might be counting on being able to get into GT, and that's not going to work for him with four crystals and the requirement being five. Yeah, he'll get some information at least, but... If that does wind up being the play, which with only four Triforce pieces left to go on Tam's side, it very much looks like it is. That has Aussie playing catch up at best. Yep. Tam getting that useless small key to Misery Mire. Yep, but that crystal's gonna come in very, very handy. Yes, it is. That's gonna open up... ...22, I believe, spots in GT. No GT big key yet, so no gauntlet, but other than that... So you can go ahead and check the basement. Uh, not going to do that, though. Uh, now that he knows that he... Yeah, it looks like he's going to head over to Pod to get that, get that last piece from Helmosaur. But I don't know that it's going to be enough, depending on just how many pieces Tam can pick up in GT. Uh, it doesn't have to necessarily be... Like, it won't necessarily be four pieces in GT. It could be a piece or two and then, you know, some sort of progression, like maybe a cane to get into TR or a fire rod to do more stuff in, in Skull Woods. Yeah, although, since there are at least 40 pieces in the pool, if there aren't four accessible here in GT, we're running out of places they could We be. are definitely running out of places. There are... I should say 14 more total in the pool from uh, Tam's perspective. I believe a couple of those are things that Aussie's picked up that Tam hasn't, but only a couple. And even if Tam does find a cane in here, the most immediate place to use it, and there's one He's right there, and there's a Triforce piece already. Yeah. Yeah, the most obvious place to use it would be to get into right side, compass room. There's 28. And Asi gonna go ahead and finish Helma here and probably beeline it back up to GT.
I believe there are, what, eight more checks in here for Tam to try and find those last two Triforce pieces? I suppose nine. There's tile room. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you're right there. You might as well do it. Yeah. <laughs> if you only need one more, I think you definitely check that. Yeah. Okay, Assy gets Triforce piece number 26. And he's going to beeline it up to the mountain to see if he can pick up his last few pieces there. We know we, I think we've seen, what, two already? I believe so. Another big 20. <laughs> so down to only three checks here in the post Ice Armos plus Tile Room. Ah, uh, there's another one. 29, getting close. Ho ho ho! And it looks like Tam piecing out rather than checking tile room. I wonder where he's headed next. Terra basement. That seems, uh... <laughs> Seems like a slightly iffy play to me. Certainly you go here next if GT Tile Room doesn't have what you're looking for. <laughs> yeah, he's got the mirror portal. He can go right back into GT Tile Room. But yeah, I, I tend to agree. Uh, save that time doing the mirror portals. Oh, chat points out, rightly so, no red cane, which is required for Tile Room. Oh, that is, that is a bigger problem. <laughs> And it's hard to see Aussie deviating too much from Tam's footsteps here. No, I mean, not a whole lot else he can do. Yeah. And that's a Turtle Rock small key. Which so we continues. still can't go into Turtle Rock because we still don't have a cane for that either. Yeah. At this point, what have we got? We've got Desert Tablet. We've got Catfish, King Zora. I don't know if we've... Has anybody checked Pyramid yet? Pyramid I to Catfish to King Zora sure. might be the... That's a long way to go for three items, but that might be the most item density we've got left at this point. course, if Tam finds it right here on the pyramid, it'll just be a quick mirror out to Maradala? Murder, murder Dolly. <laughs> to, to, <laughs> to the NPC. <laughs> yes. The mysterious third sage. Fourth? Counting old man on the mountain? Is Desert Thief a sage? What is a sage? When you think about it. And that's the red cane on Pyramid. That opens Ooh, up that a, opens a lot of stuff. stuff. Yeah. So if one of them had gotten that earlier, they might have been able to skip GT altogether. A turtle rock might have had something for them. It looks like that's where Tam is headed to. 
if I'm if I'm finding that at 29 <laughs> Triforce pieces, I'm looking yeah. at my racetime.gg <laughs> window like, did the other guy get that 20 minutes ago? Am I yeah, just exactly. now? What's happening? <laughs> exactly. Well, I'm not going to do the bomb jump, just going to actually walk the actual path of the uh, floor there, uh, not having the boots to bonk. Oh, Asi ran out. Oh, he has five arrows. He's not quite out of them. It looks like he wants to save the last one for uh, for the uh, Armos Knight when he turns red and angry. All right, and Asi, one Triforce piece behind. Oh, did he never go to Hope Room? I believe there's one in there. No, he didn't. There's one in here. They're both going to be at 29, but but Ossie's really far away from whatever his next check's going to be. And Tam's right here in Turtle Rock. Ossie forgetting he doesn't have a cane. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's got to do uh, the basement here of Hera. It's the closest yeah. check for him. That was pretty much his only hope was to decide to skip it and beeline someplace else. But so you, chat's you can't trying fault to, the play. Yeah, so chat's trying to figure out where... Because um, we know Ossie has the one out of Skull Woods and we know Tam did not get that one. I think... Uh, I know Tam... I thought Tam got a, a Triforce piece out of uh, Swamp Palace. And I don't think... I'm guessing that might have been on the left side, because Asi don't think I ever did that. Now the question is, if you're Tam, say you find the boots in your next chest. <laughs> Do you peace out and, and go, go to for that Desert. Triforce oh, piece? Yeah, that's a that good one. you know one. where it is? That's a good one. <laughs> okay, chat saying neither one of them did left side swap. Okay. No, they both got pod big chest um, to that suggestion. Yeah, okay, Asi gonna save and quit. And Tam opting to play the odds here and steal the key rather than. Yeah, I like that play. His, yeah. <laughs> in a completely different mode, in a completely different race, that actually was a big part of. Uh, of one one runner taking a or falling behind, uh, checking that lava chest instead of going all the way down and, and checking stuff on uh, on Laser Bridge. It looks like Ossie's gonna head over to that pyramid, so he'll get that red cane as well. Just another pod small key there on Tam's side. Is that still only number five? We're still not in logic to kill Amasaur. <laughs> I think the other one might have been the one on Spectacle. I could be wrong about that, though. I thought Tam picked that one up, but yeah. <laughs> pod key logic gets really funny sometimes. Ah, see, gets his gonna get his cane, and we'll probably head straight up to Turtle Rock as well. No, he keeps on walking. He might be going to Catfish and King Zora. Yeah, maybe. And that could be the gamble that saves him, depending on what Tam finds in Crystal Roller Room here. Oh, he's going to Graveyard Ledge.
Tam still hasn't found that final Triforce piece. He's heading to Laser Bridge. This is a nail biter. Ooh, just a big key on Graveyard Ledge. <laughs> to GT. <laughs> <Can is power. laughs> wow. Well, that opens up a bunch of locations up there, but I don't think you want to make that climb. No, no, no. Where is Aussie going? Is he checking the desert tablet? Oh, and Tam finds his 30th Triforce piece. Oh, it just needs to make it back to the castle. Yep. It's all but over at this point. Much like in the Fallout games, this is one mode where you can talk the final boss to death. <laughs> and there it is, Tam finishing up with an official race time of 1.30.28 GG's to Tam. And I said this at the beginning, in Mystery Week, you know, this is where you're going to get those upsets. And, uh, yeah, that's what happened here. Triforce Hunt, big, <laughs> just a, a great big equalizer, you know, instead of, a, you know, it's basically 30 Ice Rod Hunts, so... <laughs> 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 so very well done as did you check your booth gets goes to five and four shack tools dig game will go to seven and two as Ase continues up the mountain finishing up the seed Hard to imagine him not going straight to TR at this point. It's uh, it's pretty deep in there that he'll find what he's looking for. Opening it up. And it is going to go into Turtle Rock. Looking at what's ahead in the schedule for Did You Check Your Boot, today's winning team. Looks like next week they're going to be facing off against But We're Buddies during uh, the Open All Dungeons Key Sanity Week and rounding out our seven weeks of Swiss in our Link to the Past Randomizer League Season 3 with week seven, Enemizer Co-op Info Share versus the Double Dippers. Yep, they do have another match between the between these two teams on Thursday. Um, that'll be um, let me get this right. <laughs> Worf Jig versus Azure. Uh, so 
We'll see what those two have to offer. Shack Tools Digging Game will finish up the season against... They vetoed our acronym next week, and then we'll finish things out with old Swagger Jackson. Okay, and unfortunately Tam cannot interview, but Ossie's going to come on in. Um, I'm going to spoil it right now. I think he stops in a, just a little bit. Um, did not actually finish, so we'll go ahead and mark that so we can get him in here to talk about this. And joining us is Aussie. Not exactly what you were preparing for <laughs> the last few days on uh, these uh, mystery seas, was it? Okay, I can't quite hear you. I had the mic muted. There we go. Oh, there we go. We got you now. Uh, so I've been running a little bit of everything. Um, focusing on entrance, because that's what I'm weakest at, probably. Uh, but Tri-for Triforce Hunt is something that I never, ever run. I've done it once, maybe twice before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you were looking good early, but I think in the end... Um... Tam finishing up enough crystals to get into GT just got there a little bit earlier. I just had you trailing a bit. Yeah, I think it hurt not getting the the cane of Samaria too. Yeah, both of you got that very late. Neither of you got to that pyramid until after GT. Yeah, it was it was a bit of a nail biter at the end, to be honest, because uh, you went went out of your way for a couple of those checks like graveyard that yep. if that had paid off with uh, that final Triforce piece being on laser bridge on Tam's side, it was very deep that he had to go to get it. We were <laughs> had our hearts in our throats there. Yeah, I did. Uh, I didn't check the GT requirement early. Um, didn't think it'd make it that far on uh, 30 pieces. Mm -hmm. it seemed like we were getting a lot early on. Uh, so I thought it'd be a faster seed. Yeah, in the end, uh, when you were up in that area with, with the with the mitts, you had already done just about everything in that area. You'd done Spike Cave, you'd done Hera, uh, except the basement, which you didn't have the key for. Um, whereas Tam, when he was in that area, he had uh, still had some of those checks left. So it made a little more sense for him to go over there. Uh, than it did for you. Yeah, and then I I just had to guess if it was going to be a, a 4, 5, or a 6 GT. Mm -hmm. And yeah, and you picked up a lot of earlier pieces because, yeah, you hit Pod earlier, you hit, hit Meyer earlier, so that gave you a bit of a lead. But just, you know, there was still just enough time for, for him to come back. Um, just being able to pick up those ex that ex the extra crystals. Um, he, and he also didn't spend quite as much time in Pod, had more keys. Although, ironically, it was kind of funny because he did all the dark rooms in both Pod and Eastern and then went back and found that lamp that was sitting there. Uh, yeah, the scene just turned into, like, a full clear everything just to get the bare number of pieces. Yeah, it really did. Like, you were running out of places for you guys to go. Yeah, like, other than Muffside Swamp, I don't know that we have anything else unchecked other than uh, GT. Yep. 
Yeah, not a whole lot left. Just, you know, a few... I guess a few minor places, like going to Trinex, if you can get the enough keys to get there. <laughs> but yeah, it, it kind of a, kind of felt like a long Triforce. It, it, it's honestly, it's just a whole bunch of ice rod hunts, really. <laughs> In the end, but uh, so. Uh, Moving on, uh, it still puts you guys in a really good position at uh, seven and two. Uh, still going to be in first place, um, so you should be feeling pretty good about your team. Uh, next week, all dungeons and the final week of uh, co-op animizer. Which, if either of those, are you are you running? Uh, I'll be running next week with uh, all dungeons key sanity. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that'll be be it for you then. Yeah, that'll be my last. Mm -hmm. I've done five in a row. That's a lot. Plus, with SG Live in the middle of it, and I know how busy you were for SG Live, so in four different tournaments, so yeah, um, that'll be a good break for you after that. Yeah, that's when the break starts. Uh, so you get to work on Key Sanity for the next week. Yeah, at least you've got a clear, exact mode that you get to work on. Yeah, this no week was. Like mystery week is hard to prepare for, like a in a competitive sense. Like it just uh, preparing is just uh, making it so I don't make any like, obvious mistakes. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, before we close it out, anything else you'd like to add? I guess not. Okay. Anyway, so yeah, big uh, GGs to our runners, Tam and Asi. Uh, thank you for joining us, Asi. Uh, unfortunately, Tam unable to join us, but uh, yeah, um, GGs to him and congratulations for winning this one. Um, we still have a lot more to come tonight. Uh, I'll read off the schedule real quick. Uh, we have. Okay, so there were two other races that started at six ten. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna bother with those because those are probably over or close to. Uh, 710, we did have a race between Relkin and Zelgadison over on Speed Gaming. Um, that's I Like Big Boots versus the Spoilers at 810. So coming up very shortly. On Speed Gaming 6, we have We Are the Imposters versus Komodo Hypers, Waterloo versus Chex Human. Uh, actually, I think that's been moved here to Speed Gaming 4, so uh, just stay tuned to this channel. Um, on Speed Gaming 5 at 810 as well, we have Tile Rumi's versus Yu Tang Clang, RD Walsh versus Emo Saru. And at 9.10, we have on Speed Gaming 3, Team Kappa versus the Immortals, 1-Up versus Duke Firebird. So lots more to come the rest of the evening. So you still should be able to get quite the fill of Link to the Past randomizers. And we do have more races to come over the next few days. So keep an eye out on the schedule uh, to see what's coming up next. But that's going to be it for us. I'd like to thank my co-commentator, Ben Creighton. Our tracker, MM2 Nest Cartridge, and everybody setting things up behind the scenes, um, both at, at Speed Gaming and in the Randomizer League itself, uh, all the organizers. Uh, thank you for uh, doing all this. And uh, Ben, I'll let you finish this out. Yep, big thanks to everybody at the Speed Gaming Network. Make sure to follow Speed Gaming Prime and 2 through 6 for all of the upcoming Link to the Past Randomizer League action. Good night, everybody.